Good evening. I would like to ask anybody here, please, raise your hand if you don't like free choice. To choose free. Anybody in the room? See? Everybody loves free choice. That is how this country built. Not only for women, for women and men. For men. However, when you have an organization corrupt, using the free choice to encourage uh, to encourage uh, a woman to miscarriage, so they have a stock of fetuses to sell, and they are running on blood money. And that's, that's all over the news, all over the net. And I am shocked. I am shocked. Listen, listen. Dignity, dignity, integrity. We, the people, are. Sir, please ask a question. Okay. The people are looking to elect someone with dignity, integrity, and honesty. Number one. All right, we've, so already, when, we've already handled I, our candidates' responses hear, on uh, a woman's I, right to choose. Excuse me, let me I, just finish, please, my question. I think I, we're going to move I on. I ask the candidate, okay, who said he accepted money from planning neighborhoods. Okay, it's like let's hear it again. It is campaign on blood money. Mr. Bob. We'll get, a, we'll get a 30 second recap of everybody's uh, stance on a woman's right to choose. Come correct. <laughs> Sister Bell. I am proud of the support I've gotten from Planned Parenthood, and I will not back down on this issue. As When, Sir, please. When we have questions about integrity, you know, the other attack that the, the Jabor has raised on me is that I'm not wealthy enough to entirely self-fund my campaign, so I have received political contributions. And that's true. I don't have enough money to self-fund my campaign entirely, and I'm bothered when we have candidates like Trump who make the argument that just because you're wealthy and you don't need, you can self-fund okay. your campaign entirely, it means you're not, well, I don't think that's right. Senator Jabor, in the, in the, for the sake of fairness, let's get everybody's 30 second response to uh, whatever think, that question I was. We, I think we already answered that question. I'm not sure that I understood the question to begin with. It was more of a rant, but uh, I'm not Donald Trump, and I didn't spend a lot of money for this election at all. I do my own writing, I produce my own brochure, buy a nice soft pair of shoes and go out and knock. You, don't, you do not need $200,000 collectively that both of these individuals have spent to try to defeat me. $200,000, go to the campaign finance tonight and look at that report and take a look at that and you tell me who is free from the entanglement to represent you in January in the state house. I submit it is I, thank you. Mr. Keyes. So again, reiterating my earlier answer, I support a woman's right to choose and to have access to reproductive health care, whatever her choice may be, whether to keep that baby, have that baby, 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 whatever she wants to do with her life, her future is her choice. That's right. And as a member and someone who was endorsed by Rhode Island Now PAC, I do support and will upheld that to the fullest. Representative Williams. Clearly his statement was, how many of you in here believe in choice? Listen, I'm a 100% woman, support a woman's right to choose whatever it is. It is her choice, her right, and that's it. And that's it, Mr. Aniello. Yeah, like I said again, I'm 100% pro-choice and pro allowing a woman to make her own health care decisions, and I don't want to dignify that conspiracy theory with any more words. Um, what I will say about these allegations is, Senator, um, I don't know if it's a math problem or what, but combined, Sam and I have definitely raised less than $200,000. That's just a fact. I, 
I am more than happy to sit down with anyone in this room, go through my list of donations, and tell you who every single one of them are.